Well, in true fashion, I've just moved everything off the worktops and stacked it all on that side for now, taken all the coaches off, <clears throat> just to open this area up really, ready to put this wall in. Um, it's quite surprising how big that area is with nothing on it. So I do think when I get a wall in um, right across there, it'll make a difference in terms of storage. So, um, not railway related, but I am looking forward to doing this little project. Rather than subjecting everybody to watch my attempts at building this wall, I've just been taking a few little shots as I've gone along. Uh, so what I'll do, I'll just put those together just to show you the progress. Uh, the dodgy scaffolding we use from these uh, this set of step ladders, which I probably won't recommend to anybody doing, um, but I'll show these on screen. The wall's taking shape now. Um, this really did test my limited ability, I've got to say. Um, the stud works up. The plasterboard is on, on this other side of the wall. If I just bring you around. Um, I had to call in the support, the cavalry, and get my son-in-law to help me because I didn't realise how heavy plasterboard was. I will get this side skimmed, I think, at some point. It's not necessity now, but maybe one for the summer just to tidy that end up. Um, and then back to this side, I'm not actually putting plasterboard on. I've got a couple of eight before sheets of ply and I'm going to use plywood on here because uh, it's a bit more practical and I can screw straight into it. Just working out where I want the TV to be and I'm going to have a look at the working out where I want the TV to be and I'm going to have a double socket down there as well. Um, next steps, I've got a load of insulation there, I'm just going to get inside this before I put the um, plywood on. Then I'm just thinking maybe at this end, I don't know whether I've got this here, I, I built this maybe 20 year ago now and I used to have my engines displayed on in a living room at our old house. I'm wondering whether to put that back on this wall somewhere so I can get some engines up or I'm just wondering if it might take a little bit too room. So um, still lots to think about. I think I can manage the plywood myself, just measure it, get it screwed on, um, get it painted and then decide what I'm going to put where. But um, it's been a hard two days work this. Thanks to John, my uh, son-in-law, because I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. But um, as soon as this is done, I can get back to... Uh, the other side of the room, which is far more important to me, the layout itself. So uh, I'll keep you updated how we're getting on. Um, I've just been waiting for the paint to dry on these little buildings and then I can go over with a, a black wash just to grind them up. So in the meantime, I've just done the wiring for the two sockets. Um, it's not finished, it leads off, it's got to be uh, fitted into the original socket on the wall now and then uh, they'll go live. That's just one for the telly, so it'll be hidden behind the TV, no wires. And I've just put a double socket in as well because um, every time I want to do something on here, whether it be with the uh, soldering iron or the glue gun, little bits, I have to drag a great big extension lead. I thought it'd just be nice to have something in there. But also maybe a little, I can just plug a controller in now and again if I want to test any of the engines, do any little bits like that. So um, they're in, as I say. I've uh, just got to get them wired in and made live now to the original socket. Just cutting the holes out for the sockets. Um, I probably need to be a little bit more careful. I didn't realise the board had slips. Um, nice little gouge out of the worktop there.
Fortunately the new wall goes right across where the smoke alarm was so um, I'm going to have to reposition that only probably by about what six eight inches this way a little bit um, the rest of this has got to continue around and do a frame for a door but that'll be one for a later date well they say things come in threes um, after the slight mishap with the worktop and the jigsaw and obviously the smoke alarm being in the way of the of the roof beam um, I've had a little accident with the carpet now um, one of the eight before boards was lent up ready to screw as I turned around to get the screwdriver it flipped back and landed and just ripped a bit of a hole in the carpet so I better do a repair job on that as quick as I can before the wife comes up and sees it but I think with a little bit of uh, adhesive maybe I can uh, cover it in rub a bit of muck in it she'll never know the difference so three things hopefully nothing more can go wrong now uh, I can get this finished and move on okay we finally have a wall and um, I've just been filling the screw all who's ready to sand them down I'm going to paint it white just to give it some more lightness in the room as you can see the boards themselves were 12 20 millimeters and the height of the the wall was 12 60 so I've got like a 40 mil fillet just to put in there across the bottom but the main thing is the walls up I'm sorry it's a bit dark but we're in the middle of a power cut at the minute um, but hopefully you get to see the idea so at least that's done um, and I can uh, get it painted and get the shelving and the telly up um, so hopefully that'll be an improvement So all the bumps and lumps and screw holes have been filled now. It's dried, so I've sanded it down. Just been and bought some primer and undercoat all in one. Give it a couple of coats now on there. And I've got a couple of uh, tubes of this. This hides a multitude of sin, all my bad measuring. Hopefully I'll be able to cork all that, get it painted, and it hopefully won't look too bad. Well, I don't think I'll make it as a painter and decorator. Some people say it's therapeutic painting, but for me that was um, well, a bit of a drain. Did not enjoy that at all, but that's one coat of primer on. Uh, obviously it's very blotchy because it's soaked straight into the plywood. So what I'll do when it's dry, I'll give it a quick sand down and then get a second coat on and hopefully it'll look a bit more even then. One other thing I am thinking of doing is this uh, set of units I've got across here. I'm probably going to shift them down towards the window. So from here, probably move them another 12 inches or so. It's wasted space, that. Um, and so I'm thinking if I move them that way, what it will mean, obviously, at this end, I will get more room than what I've got here. It will move that way which will mean if I do want to put extend this bit out here for a good yard, I'm, I'm going to have more room just to get through without having to squeeze. So it makes sense, really. Uh, it shouldn't be a big job to do that. So once everything's painted up and that, I think I'll just shift him along about 12 inches or so a foot and um, just create a bit more space for myself. I do actually think I'd rather do some housework than paint. Um, it just, just doesn't do it for me. But I've got to get this wall done because until, until it's in place, I've got some shelving up. I can't clear all this junk off the side, which means I can't take that uh, section out uh, and get a door, get a, get a door put in. So the door is going to go, as you know, whoops, excuse me, up along here. Um, now the roof, as you can see, it's kind of got a slope, so it comes down that way. So I'm not going to get a full height, full width door, unless I shave like a corner off it. No problem for me, because I'm only like five foot five, but um, 
maybe for some that mean them ducking in it'd be like a little borrower's door potentially but uh, as long as it just seals the room to keep the warm in i don't think that's going to be too much of an issue so i've got to get this painted got to get it finished uh, the sooner it's done the better but it's just one of the least enjoyable jobs uh, i've done so far really right ready to start another coat can't wait this is what i'd really rather be doing just a sneak peek but we'll come back to that another time um, i'll get the paint out and we'll do another coat well it probably won't win any prizes but i'm happy with that just now i'm going to put some cork around the sides and around the top then i can plan what i'm going to put where on it so it turned out all right or it has for me anyway um, it does reflect quite a bit of light over that area which is good for when I'm doing the uh, bits of modelling and that so next steps I'm going to work out where to put the bracket for the TV and maybe get that little display shelf up on that edge there well I've put this little display shelf cabinet whatever you will call it up I don't know if it'll stay it's probably just nostalgia more than anything as I say, this is something I made probably 20 years ago to put all my locos on when I didn't have enough room for a layout. So uh, I don't want to get rid of it. Whether it'll stay there, I'm not sure. But it's up for now and it uh, kind of sits quite well there. I'm just surveying the damage that I did to this worktop with my little uh, accident. And I'm thinking I might be able to get away with it because on this edge, it's overhanging by about 8 mil. And when I go down to the other side over in that young corner it's about 10 mil overhang plus i've got this gap here where i put my stool so if i'm moving everything down that way i could even close this gap up slightly and that'll just give me enough play then to take a slither off the edge of this with a circular saw i was quite fortunate i suppose when i put it in i never got around to putting the edging on so that's quite lucky really so it's still raw so i can trim it as best i can get the edging stuck on and uh, you'll never know there was a little accident apart from some shelving to go on this right hand side the wall's done uh, i've just decided what type of shelving to put on there yet yeah, whether i get that adjustable shelving that sits on them like runners i'll, I'll think on that but it's there um, i can now start to get everything tidied back up uh, and get back onto this layout so that's been an interesting week's work is what i would say I don't think it's turned out too bad, particularly if we stood back here from a distance, you don't see all the little bumps and lumps. So um, it has brought some light to the room, actually, and it don't feel as echoey already. So promising signs. Well, I was supposed to be moving these cupboards along by about 12 inches, 30 centimetres, but um, as usual, I got distracted and I just thought about, could I do something on this little bottom bit here for, for some of my paints? I keep seeing on um, various social media and eBay and whatever, you can buy these little laser cut kits that you put together, a little stand for all your paints. So I thought I'd just have a go myself, see if I could come up with something. I had a bit of 2 by one spare, so I just used a 25mm forstner bit, I think you call them, where they're flat, uh, and just drilled some holes down. Um, they just fit all the Vallejo ones, this style bottle, so they've gone in there. Obviously, I haven't got many, so there's a lot of empty holes. Um, and then it got me thinking, could I do something for the, the rail tight ones? They're 30mm, I have got a 30mm bit. And also for the humbrels, they're 30 mil. Just mean to stop and rattling all over, really. So that's something I'm going to think about. But I'm going to do what I promised I would do and get these uh, 
these units moved that way. Well, that seems to have worked. I've got about a metre now between the end wall and before the units start. But more importantly, I've got this massive overhang so I can neatly trim that up as well now. Still got the gap for me to sit at, although I never sit, I seem to stand when I'm working. And then less of a gap at that side. So um, all in all, I'm pleased with what I've got done there. All that's left to do now is a huge tidy up. Uh, get all this stuff put away, everything moved, and then back onto the layout.